Hello, my name is Andrew Price, and today I'll be showing you how to make one of these. It's a willow whistle made from a single piece of willow. I cut myself a slice of time when the wind blows, when the river meets the sea. First thing we need to do is to find a nice piece of straight willow with as few knots as possible. Cut it off about that length. Now willow has a very moist bark, so the cambium, which is between the outer bark and the inner wood, is quite thick. And at this time of year in the spring, it's full of moisture, so what should happen is that the outer skin should just come away, leave us with the wood exposed. So that's the next thing we need to do. So I'm just going to cut around here first of all. The next thing we need to do is to bruise the bark all over and this helps to separate the inner from the outer layers. So we have to make sure we've bruised it all over otherwise it will stick in certain places. So we also need to make sure we don't split the outer skin. So I'll just gently tap away at this. That's enough. Now what I'm going to do is just give it a good twist. Ah. So if you look now, the outer part has come away from the inner part. So the next thing I need to do is to cut the mouthpiece for the whistle. So be really careful not to split the outer bark. It's quite delicate. Okay. Now this is the part that uh, requires extra special delicate hands, it's just to remove this bark. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. And there we have it. Okay, so we've removed the outer piece. And that's the inner piece, so my next job is to remove as much of this material as I can to create the sound chamber. I'm going to take a thin strip off here as well. We want to get this piece quite thin if we can. This is where it gets tricky, so if you take it too thin, it can break. So, with a bit of luck, that won't happen.
hopefully that'll be enough. So next thing I need to put the, the bark back on. So be really careful you don't break it. And then we have a whistle. Cut myself a slice of time when the wind blows, when the river meets the sea. Tired of seeing the same old TV? On TV? Look for an alternative to the TV and see some alternative TV on the internet. Vision on TV is a place to see alternative TV. So watch Vision on TV for alternative TV.